Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So today I'm going to be showing you some art by a wonderful woman named Elana. She has an Etsy shop that's called Elana Zinsky Art and her art is so amazing, as you can see here. So she has generously given me five kits to show you and I am so excited. My heart is beating out of my chest. Don't you just love it when you get new art and you're like so excited to play with it? Anyways, I love supporting other women in business and I love supporting other artists. Um, it makes my day and I feel like if there was more of that in this world, the world would be a better place. All right, so she has also given me a discount code to give to you guys. I asked her if she would do that and she said, absolutely, no problem. And she provided me with one so you can get 15% off anything in her store. No minimum purchase required. And yeah, so let's get going. So I do want to mention that she is in the UK and their paper sizes are different than ours. And I'll explain more in a minute why I'm saying that. So let's start with kit number one. I also wanted to show you here really quick the difference between regular printer paper. This is from the Dollar Tree and nicer quality printer paper. Do you see the difference in color with the, this is like a more dingy and this is bright, bright white and the colors are bright. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that they still look great on Dollar Tree printer paper, but I printed some on that and some on my nicer because I wanted you guys to be able to see that. Okay, so let's start with the first kit. And this one's called Over 80 Fun and Quirky Collage Images Number 2. It is $7.70, but with your 15% off, it would make it $6.55. And the thing to remember about printables is you can keep printing these. Um, unlike when you get a book, um, you know, like a collage book that we love to get, when you cut it out, it's gone. You don't have it again. But with these, you can keep printing them and using them in your junk journals, your scrapbooks, your daily creative journals, your glue books, um, literally everything we do, ATCs, iCADs, you name it, you can make it. So, all right, so here's the first one. This is 80, over 80 collage elements. Now she gives you like, she drew, she drew all these by the way, you guys. Um, so she has heads and then bodies and then little thing, like here's the arms, a bow tie. Everything's very abstract and doodly, which is my jam. Um, when I do draw like people, I draw them very whimsically. I always have. Um, so anyways, yeah. And then she even offers like some little uh, quotes to put there. Look at the little feet. Here's some cake body bodies, I think. Um, or you could use them as, oh, they're hats, I think. I think you could, well, you can use them however you want. That's the fun part about this. Um, and then she has some heads. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. This is kind of how I draw right here. So when I saw it, when she emailed me, um, I had already had some of her art saved in my Etsy favorites. <laughs> I, I already had seen her. I love her. Look at how cute these little heads are. Oh my gosh, I love it. So yeah, you could take like this ice cream cone, put a head on top and put, add some arms and make an ice cream body. You could do all kinds of stuff. You could take these heads and put them on an animal body. I mean, look at these heads. This is awesome. I just, she gives you some, you know, clothing, some pants. And I mean, you could just <laughs> jolly wacko. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> The verbiage is so different than ours, and I am living for it. Here's me. This is me. Although my lips wouldn't be purple. They would be pink. Maybe this is me. I'll go with her. I've always wanted pink hair. All right. So I love this. <laughs> I'm very excited to cut all these and use these in like ATCs and um, uh, art journaling and stuff. Okay. So then this one is called Critters and Doodles. It's also $7.07. Oh no, that, that one was $7.70. This is $7.07. Um, so it would be about $6 after the discount code. I mean, how stinking cute are these? I just, I can't. They are so cute. So I printed mine on a lamp. Look at this Dollar Tree paper. See how it's like they didn't cut it right? Um, you can change the size of these even just by switching from lands landscape to portrait mode. So if I wanted to make these smaller, I could switch it to portrait mode and then they would be smaller. But I, I wanted some bigger images too. And then all these fun little things to play with. Love the borders. 
And then, oh my gosh, how stinking cute is this? So look at this. You got all these heads, all these little outfits. You can put them on. Oh my gosh. I just cannot wait. I cannot wait to play with these. So fun. And I love that I can play with them um, over and over again once I'm, you know, because I can just keep printing. So I just, I love her art. If you can't tell already, I'm obsessed. I love this kind of art. Okay, so this one's called Fun Faces and Doodles. It's $4.47. With your discount, it would make it $3.80 approximately. So this is fun because she adds some that are colored and not so you can color them. And you better believe I am coloring these. I love to color. So this will be super fun. So here we go. So you have this one. And then she has the same, but without the little borders and stuff around them. So that's super cute. And then I wanted to show you the difference between landscape and um, like I was just talking about. So here I printed this in portrait mode. These are a bunch of little like snippets that you can put with your art. And then to make it smaller, I just printed it on um, landscape. So see how, see the difference and everything. So, you know, I could use the bigger ones for like art journaling or my bigger glue books and then the smaller ones for like ATCs or my smaller glue books. So I, I did that just so you guys could see the difference in that. Okay, and then here they are in color. Ooh, it's so cute. And the cool thing about having them in color too is one, if you don't like to color or you like black and white images, a lot of people love to use black and white images in their art. So you don't have to color them. You can totally just leave them as is. Um, but I'm gonna color them because I love to do so. But this also gives you an idea of, you know, how to color them a little bit. And then here's this one colored. So let me show you, where's that? I think it's back here. There we go. So you can get it colored and not. And I love that. I mean, how fun is that of her to do that? Okay, so super fun. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. <laughs> these are so fun. She has like, over 250 things to buy on her page, you guys, of art. Okay, this one's called Abstract Peeps. It's $7.70, but with my discount, it would be uh, $6.55 approximate. All right, now, you know right off the bat that I love this one because there's pigs in it, and you know, pigs are like my favorite animal. Um, I love these so much. Okay, so we have this one and then this one. And look at this, so cute. So you have your heads, your legs, your bodies. I mean, really, she is so amazing. Good job putting your watermark on here too, by the way, Elena. That's smart. Look how cute these are. I just, I can't. Ah, ah, so fun. <laughs> Sorry, Zena. Zena's in here and she's like, why are you being so loud and dramatic? Because I'm excited and art excites me. And these are so cute, I can't even stand it. Um, yeah, oh look, there's a bird, put a bird on it. Love it, oh my God, I love her. <sighs> okay, and then there's this one. I mean, how fun to like, basically it's paper dolls and then you can um, make them any way you want. Great for mixed media as well. I mean, these are fun for everything. I'm not trying to like sell you on it because I think her art sells itself because it's so amazing, but I'm obsessed. Okay, this one's called Storybook. It's $7.07, .07, but with the discount, it's approximately $6. And again, she provided black and white as well as colored. So there's that. Now this one I printed on portrait mode instead of landscape. If I wanted these houses to be bigger, I could print them on landscape. So it just kind of depends on what you're gonna use them for. Um, I printed this one smaller on portrait mode as well um, because on landscape, this would have been almost eight and a half inches wide. And I don't usually work in books that are that, or like glue books and stuff that are that big. But if I do, I can always go back and print it again. And then here's, again, I printed these in portrait because I wanted my girls to be a little bit smaller. And then here's her, I wanted her to be smaller. So if you print this on portrait, she'll take up the whole, it'll go this way and she'll take up the whole thing. But I wanted her to be a little smaller. So this is Elena's art. I really hope you guys go over and check it out. Give her a support. Follow her on Etsy if you have an Etsy account. Um, let's help support other artists. Um, even if you don't feel like buying anything, at least go over there and check it out. 
look how cute these are, you guys. I just, I can't even. I can't even. I don't even know which one to start with. That's the thing. So I will have all of her information in my description box. Um, I will have a link for the discount code and her website. And then I will put the link to each one of these kits that I have here, just so it's easier for you to find. Cause she does have a lot of items, but I just think these are amazing. And I just, Elena, thank you so much for sharing your art with me. I am very excited to play. So I think what I'll do is cut a bunch of these up or maybe like one kit. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'll be back in a minute. And I think maybe I'll create some artist trading cards with some of these images. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Did you miss me? Cause I missed you. <laughs> All right, guys, so I decided not to go with the artist trading cards. I'm going to actually use a glue book that was gifted to me by my friend Melissa. She's a glue crew member, and I absolutely adore her. She's super talented and an amazing person. So I wanted to use the glue book she made for me, and I decided to make a couple of the ice cream people. Um, the ice cream cone dangles down a little far between the legs, so don't let your mind go to a dirty place. <laughs> These are whimsical, people. They're whimsical. Um, I absolutely love how these turned out. I did a very um, minimalistic, simple page here just because I wanted to play with a couple of the characters. And, um, you know, I, you guys know I tend to go on a little bit more of a simple route when I'm creating. The thing is, I can always come back and add more later. This is just kind of what I had in mind for the moment. And I definitely need to go back through and cut everything up. Um, that would have made it a lot easier to create as well. But I really wanted to play with something right away. And so I just decided to go with um, little ice cream people. These kits are so fun. I can't, you know what also I'm excited about? And if you're a glue booker or just, I guess, any crafter that likes to do this, um, I can't wait to fussy cut all these out. I know, I know. I am just, I'm equally as excited about the art as I am to cut everything out. I'm a weirdo. I like to fussy cut. I know there's, it's so weird. I think it's really 50-50 um, or maybe 40-40 and then there's 20% of us who kind of don't mind it, but it's not their favorite thing, but they don't hate it. You know what I mean? But 40% of us love it and the other 40 hate it. Um, I love it. I find it really relaxing. I like to put on a movie and just um, cut out the images. I don't know. It's fun. So I'm excited to cut all these out. I'll probably put them in one of my little plastic um, totes that has all of them in them. So I know that they're all Elena's art uh, and they're all kind of kept together. Oh my gosh. These are so fun so fun. These would be really cute to make a postcard and send to a friend as well. I'm like freaking out behind the scenes here when I'm because <laughs> I originally I was talking through this but there were so many interruptions with airplanes and Xena and the door opening and closing. It was just a mess. So I decided to do a voiceover instead. Um, so here I'm using my art glitter glue because I'm kind of putting the little pieces of the bodies together and then I can glue the whole thing. I ended up getting lazy and gluing the girl down. Like, so I use the glue just to put the parts together because art glitter glue dries clear and it dries really fast. So I just use a tiny bit just to tack those pieces down together. They won't be moving once you put them on there. This glue dries really fast. Um, I don't usually use a wet glue when I'm gluing because I feel like it kind of bubbles up. Sometimes you can see the glue marks behind the image. I really prefer to use a glue stick, but I got lazy and decided just to glue um, the girl down and the border down with actual glue and not a glue stick. And I kind of regret it a little bit. <laughs> you can't really tell um, at all, but yeah, I ended up gluing the boy down with a glue stick and I like it much better. He's totally flush and there's no little wrinkles or bumps or anything. So aren't these so cute? I kind of want to add like a hat on his head or something. Um, so I will definitely add more to this page eventually. I just kind of wanted to start and kind of show you guys what you can do with these. <laughs> They're just so fun. They're so fun. I love whimsical art, you know? It, it's like I'm a big fan of abstract art, which is why I like to do neurographic art and doodles and stuff like that, because I really love abstract art. That's my jam. So these just speak to my soul. I love it. 
So here I decided to go in with my glue stick. It's I used the Scotch Permanent. It's very, very good glue. Um, everything stays in put. It dries fast. You do have a small window to be able to move things around. Um, yeah, there I'm showing you that little tool, my little crafty tool, because somebody in my Facebook group was asking about what that was. And it is a knockoff Cricker, Cricker, Cricut vinyl tool that you get at the Dollar Tree. Um, if you don't see it there the first time, def definitely check again because they always come back. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to go check out Elena's um, Etsy shop. See what she has to offer. Like it. Just give her a follow. And don't forget to look in the description box for your code. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Don't forget to drink some water and stay hydrated. Give this video a like because it helps me out more than you know. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.